she was a little nervous. Look, you made a nice bed for yourself with your breakfast. You guys made a mess. Hey guys, Chad with New England Homestead is here. We're out here today trying to get the rest of this fence up. We've got three sections that we need to do over here behind us for the goats. I'm going to show you how we're stretching this red brand fence. Alright, so we've got a 42 foot section here. We added about 40 inches. So now we've got some overlap down here at the end. We've got about three spans. And what we need to do is we're going to clip off these three and we're going to unwind this and basically create long horizontal strands that we're then going to wrap off around this post. Right, so we found one of the tricks to getting these off here after you cut these is you need to use the pliers and sort of unwind this little strand and once you've unwound that about a turn then it comes right off. So we basically need to strip all of these little vertical twists. These are, these are double twisted. Yeah these are double so there's two of them wrapped around together so if you uh, just unwind them like this, they'll start to unscrew. So we do that first. You can see how they just unscrew. And then if you just open the twist up a little bit more with a pair of pliers, it makes it much easier to just slide them right off the end. All right, so we're going to line up this vertical. This vertical stay is how we're going to know that we're straight on the fence. And then we're going to bring this around like this. And we're going to wrap it around right here. Yeah, so push this down to the ground like that. And bring this tight. can tighten that up shortly. We're basically getting this started. This is the, the side that we're anchoring that we're going to uh, pull against. So I'm actually going to throw a couple of staples in to hold that. We found that this helps hold it in place. So that should be good to hold that. Now, just work on this next wire, bring this one through. Get as tight as we can right here. Now that we've got a couple of these on, I'm going to trim this off here. And we're going to use this little twister tool. Got this on Amazon, made by Zariba. And basically allows you to twist this off. It's 
sort of a nice finished look. We're just gonna work our way all the way down. We'll trim this one off to make it a little easier. Alex can throw these in the scrap bucket. Definitely saves your fingers and lets you get a much nicer wrap on there so it has a more finished look. There you go, and that one. That went pretty good. So this top wire is much thicker than these other wires and it's also, it's a lot stiffer. It's really hard to use this tool on here. You can't really get this. So the most of the tops don't look as nice as the other ones. It's kind of sharp. We'll have to see if we can file that off. But you can see here we got all the rest of them done except for this bottom one. And the bottom one has been pretty tough. So just kind of pull it as tight as we can and try to get it around here a few times. That's usually about all we can get on the bottom. All right, so we got this full run. So you get this full run lined up here. And we got this fence puller, I think at Lowe's. We're just using it to come along and connecting it to the four-wheeler. And with the four-wheeler in gear, the parking brake on, and we've got a uh, extra fence post here in front to pull against. And that seems to work really well. I think it's good. We can adjust each post. So the next thing we'll do is go along and get this temporarily nailed in to help hold the height so that we've got the fence flush against the ground. So we'll put a couple of nails in there so that it can still pull tight. Alright, so we've got it nice and tight and we uh, stapled this in loosely so that we could still put some additional tension with the four-wheeler. And now that we've got this like this, we're going to selectively pick a couple of these wires that don't have tension on them and start stripping them and wrapping them. So we start with the middle and then work our way out. top one too. Alright, so now with this pulled tight, it's much easier to get a tighter wrap on this end. Uh, I'm just going to try to keep this as smooth as possible. tool finish that off a little nicer trim a little bit of this end off of here
All right, so we got these middles all tied off while leaving tension on the fence puller up here at the top and the bottom. So now that we've got that all tied off, we can go ahead and relieve the tension and cut the rest of these. I'm gonna just cut that wire. There we go, so now we just need to clean up these remaining four strands, get all those twists off, tie that off, and we're ready to do the next run. So we've got these corners set up like I showed in the previous video. These are eight foot pressure treated posts. We sank them all two feet in the ground. So we got a little extra height up here just for show and we'll be able to run an electric wire across the top here. And I went uh, 16 feet spacing between these thinking I'd save some money on posts and I thought it would be good enough with the woven wire. And it is pretty tight. Uh, but I think if the animals were, were pulling or jump, putting their feet up on it, it might start to bend. So I'm going to end up putting T-posts in. And you can see the ground's a little unlevel right here. The fence isn't quite touching the ground. So with this added flexibility in here, we'll uh, use a T-post with the T-post clips and get that driven in there. And it really tighten it up over on the other side. See the girls over here relaxing eating some hay on this chilly day. Last step, we go and nail, actually, can you can you get them diagonally like I showed you last time? Here. So if we put them in like this. Also nailed off all of these on this horizontal cross support just to give it some extra stability. So here we are in the last run of fencing that we're doing and we realize that these pliers have a, a funky little round thing at the tip that actually lets you grab a hold of these twists to unwrap them works perfectly and you can get them to slide right off. better on this side because you can hold it and just untwist and actually when we have this snipped they just slide right off but uh, amazing how many features that tool has it's even got this awesome little hook to uh, remove the fencing staples and this cuts the wire